Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am Brett Kai Vectra and I would like to welcome you to the runway. Today we have the pleasure of viewing the Yves Saint Laurent or Saint Laurent Women's Spring Summer 2025 Ready to Wear show. Also, we have a starry night kind of flooring. All right, now first model steps out. Wide set venue per usual for the Saint Laurent shows. They love these spacious venues. You know, no specific strip for a model to walk on. Vent the audience kept at bay on the outskirts. Like the first look from the model androgynous kind of unisex look if you watch the men's wear uh, that took place for fall winter for Saint Laurent you saw again the boxy shoulders suits kind of like these loose fitting suits but again the silhouette looks slim because the shoulders are set out wide You increase the frame, you can increase the width of your garments. Yeah, I love the trousers. Okay, so they have that same kind of oil finish on the ground like they had in the fall winter women's show. We covered that on the channel as well. Few Yves Saint Laurent shows I need to re-upload onto this channel, so stay tuned for that. But I love the house of Yves Saint Laurent. Nice navy tie, gray, and a gorgeous overcoat. I like the glasses too that I see some of the models wearing. Again, very vintage, very old school. Look at those high waist trousers. And again, with the flared trousers from Yves Saint Laurent, the side profile of the looks is so great. And that's why I really appreciate the camera work that you get. That's cute. The updo. Black leather jacket. Again, old school. Now in spring, summer 2024, for the women's side, it again had that androgynous feel, except we had like fighter, kind of like fighter jet, kind of like jumpsuits. There's a lot of cargo pants. Oh, that's badass. Look at those shades, huh? Damn, she looks cool, man. Gorgeous black leather trench. A navy suit. That's one of my favorite looks. Okay, so now we get some skirts. Because everything else previous to this, that's a gorgeous ruffled skirt too. Okay, so now we're starting to get some more prototypical feminine wear. As soon as I say that, we're back. A nice navy blazer. Ooh, love that look. Again, very, but probably what, 80s, 70s? For sure, 70s. Oh, that's gorgeous. Now that plays off the textures and the themes and the color schemes that you saw in the fall winter women's wear. A lot of neutrals, it was a lot of beige, it was a lot of orange, brown, tans greens olives check out this burgundy suit huh wide lapels then we throw on the bomber jacket with a nice dress so 
So we get a nice blend here because a lot of the, the, the suits really remind me of fall winter men's wear collection, which I use the same record that you're listening to now as the backdrop. And this record is titled The New York Strip. And it's got that kind of, if you ever watched the movie Taxi Driver and some movies like that set in New York, big city, urban, in the 70s, 80s. Kind of that Sherlock Holmes vibe. You can just see it with the, with the cut of the suits. With the shades. But yeah, I really like these dresses that he's putting on underneath these jackets and the gorgeous skirts that are ruffled. Love the way they flow drape and the train kind of just carries. Use a nice essence as they walk by. Okay. Mr. Baccarello, you know, back at it again, you know, Yves Saint Laurent has what I would consider probably pretty strict house codes. You know what you're getting, you know what the brand is, you know what it has been. And you do see a lot of it year in, year out. But to me, if you like it, you love it, like myself. If you don't, you're probably not even watching this video or the presentation because you already kind of know what you're going to get. And again, to me, I've talked about before. I want to see the front of that black suit. Okay, it's coming around. Again, I like the white cuffs. Yeah, very nice on the black. I like the big bracelets. And I presume they're wearing stilettos. But I tell you what, Yves Saint Laurent's Chelsea boots, I've talked about them in every show, especially on the men's side. I mean, their, their ankle boots, Chelsea boots are just second to none. The sleekest and sexiest silhouettes really ever conjured, in my opinion. Again, really cool jacket. Now, I wonder if that bomber jacket is boxed because it fit right over the box suit. Huh. I guess it has to be. Which is interesting, a boxed bomber jacket in terms of the shoulders. This is a funky look right here. Okay, I like that turquoise top. Look at that, that Miami Vice color with the teal and the pink. Okay, okay. So now we're breaking away from the typical kind of neutral, kind of white and black Saint Laurent vibe yeah that teal is gorgeous look at that lace love the bow on that sleeveless orange top oh look at the royal blue okay okay anthony still got some tricks up his sleeve look at the purple under garment that's underneath the skirt I like that color and I like them layered together here you see the orange underneath the scarlet or underneath the red orange with the teal oh that's nice that really is nice man nice play on the primaries playing with the color wheel And making some good stuff. I like the high collar, kind of seems like almost mock rough 
Next. Look at those heels, man. Again, you see the silhouette? Look at the silhouette of them at the side. Super sleek, super sharp. Stilettos defined. Very, very sharp. Again, that's what you come to expect here. Again, nice ruffled skirts here. And that underlaying works. Now, do they look super comfortable to wear and walk in? No. But as people say, I mean, hey, um, you know, high fashion isn't about really always about comfort. Oftentimes, it's not about comfort. Oh, look at the venue, the lights That's dimming. So, man, the way we finished the show is a far cry from what how we started. Oh, look at the warm lighting at the end. This is gorgeous. Again, stepping out from the room with that gorgeous chandelier. Very nice. And again, if you don't like pantsuits, at the end, they've got some stuff for you. It's like a blend of the fall winter for the men's and the women's side, essentially. Like this is like straight up men's fall winter Saint Laurent. These retro boxy suits that you would find, again, a businessman in New York in, in 1982 wearing, or 1978. You know, this is, it's straight up old school but look at this i mean just look at that leather jacket right there with the brown oh it's, it's absolutely gorgeous if you're a fan of women's wear that again kind of like that heady slimane kind of gender bender thing if you're a fan of that again you're in the right place and look how slick the ground looks and I guess it's not slippery because no one slipped. Like you don't see a single model looking like they're walking on ice, but I love how they do this. They did this again last time with the fall winter. They had that kind of, it, it looked kind of like sand. Cause it was like kind of like a yellow tint, but here we have the blue. So it looks like a kind of like a starry night. It's a gorgeous layout. I love it. Okay, look at the tops here. That's again, <laughs> it's it's a call to the fall winter women's. That's pretty much all that collection was, except you had longer pencil skirts and you had head wraps. <laughs> I love the jackets here. Oh, shoot. I think she did slip. Yeah, somebody did take a slip. So it is as slippery as it looks. The grainy portion of the ground, I guess, gives you enough grip every step or two, but kudos to the models then for pulling it off. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Again, he almost tripped on the way out. Mr. Vaccarello, 
and his typical sneakers. Salute to you, sir. Another good show. Now, it's about time for Bread's Picks, so stay tuned as we go through my favorite looks of this phenomenal show. Again, great show. I really loved what Mr. Anthony Vaccarello presented, per usual. Again, I'm a sucker for Saint Laurent, kind of just house codes and what they do here, their themes and their norms. First look, uh, first off, love the hair. Love the hair, man. You know, and again, talk about androgynous styles, you know, they, the models that they've selected, especially for these early looks with their haircuts, you know, and then when you put the shades on and you put the suit on, it, it really like nails that concept. I mean, cause I, <laughs> that's, that's killer, man. You know, it, it's, anybody can look good in that first look. Beautiful slim cut yet loose fitting khaki suit with a nice jacket again love the side profile of the flared pants so on and so forth and the striped tie fantastic again those frames are killer i like the color scheme of this one though i think the shoulders were too slim at the waist and hip down the trousers get so wide that the, you need a little bit more width on those shoulders for this one it was the only one where the silhouette, I saw it immediately and, and thought it wasn't wide enough to kind of fit everything else as a loose fit, but still give it that nice slim cut silhouette. You gotta widen those shoulders out a lot. Here, love this jacket. Get a nice gray suit, burgundy tie. Looks like some burgundy shoes, some tortoise frames. I mean, it's, win it's rinse, wash, repeat for sure, but it's glorious. I mean, we can just literally watch all of these. I love this trench coat. This is probably my favorite. Trench coat, gray, navy blue tie with a pinstripe. Beautiful. And the khaki trench that matches kind of like the hues of her blonde. Oh, and I love the frames. Again, I'm a, I'm a real sucker and a big fan for these khaki kind of gray suits with these white or blue shirts and the dark ties with these tortoise frames. I mean, we saw like three or four of these looks and each one, I, I like it. And again, with these looks, anyone, like I said, can pull it off. Again, really 18 to 80, male or female, you can pull this off. You can look cool because it's vintage and because, again, it's a pantsuit. Leather jackets, bomber jackets, trench coats. Anyone can rock these. I like it. Now, here is where the show really... Like, it, for those who are going to write it off, is like, oh, okay. Like, he's just doing, like, the fall, winter men's wear on women this time not so fast because when he started implementing these pleated dresses oh my gosh look at the jewelry and this is the type of look you'd wear if you were starring in the matrix movies but the matrix it was like the matrix in cancun or in the bahamas <laughs> this is what you'd see them wearing i mean this is gorgeous man the Matrix in Honolulu. This is what you'd see. It's, it's badass, man, but it's it's still got a light fabric, low cut top, breathable, and it's got an ethereal class to it, even though it's badass, man, and it's tough. I mean, like, I've that is a dude, that's a brilliant look to me. Brilliant. But we've got this gorgeous chocolate brown. And we've got this even prettier cognac leather jacket. Navy tie. Again, she's got a short cut. She's got the tortoise frames. Look at the dark nude kind of tan heels she's wearing. Gotta give it up. 
Here, Vaccarello with the army, better yet the navy. This sick black leather trench coat. This was the coat of the night. This was the coat of the night. As much as I love that tan trench from earlier, this one is the one man. Sick suit, absolutely sick. Again, like anybody can wear this. A man can equally look as cool, man, as this lady does. With black Chelsea boots instead of stilettos. And you've got this, you've got two killer looks, a his and hers. Jesus, man, that, I mean, that's just, black and navy is such a killer combo. As you see me in the navy sweater. <laughs> but like, no, it, it's, it's just, wow, man. Here's also where I thought this collection really separated itself and took that next leap. With these looks right here, the, this all green textured look, again with those same beads that you have from earlier. I love the bracelets that we have here, the earrings. You know, again, it was it kind of has that same color scheme and feel as the fall winter, the tie belt. Again, I love the navy blazer here. Charcoal trousers are cool, but that navy with the gold buttons were killer. And this one with no jacket. I thought this was just, just beyond exceptional. First off, love the shirt with the shades of green stripes going down. Love the tie, that olive with the polka dots. Charcoal trousers and jacket brown leather shoes and belt everything i i really like vaccarello's work because and again i don't know where he came from before yves saint laurent i don't know where he'll go after but you know I, again yves saint laurent does have strict house code so i figure i don't know has anyone really over the archives over the years of Yves Saint Laurent, and again, a lot of you guys have been watching fashion before. I was probably even born, you know, and some of you guys are customers, you know, of Yves Saint Laurent. You've got a closet full, um, you know, but again, that one, man, ah, it's, it's feminine. It, this is like, again, it was the first unapologetically feminine look here. And again, look at the slim silhouette. It's got that Yves Saint Laurent kind of like column up and down same kind of robe-esque top <sighs> all of those are fantastic and then right when you're you thought you were done with the androgynous kind of semi masculine suits no this burgundy look i mean this this burgundy look is is like something Ron Burgundy would wear. I mean, it's or better, really. Like, <laughs> it's just it's fantastic. Look at the gold. Look at the gold copper tie with her hair hues. I mean, they man, he really styled, picked, and selected the right models with the right features, right skin tones to really wear the right outfits. Man, great job. The olive skirt. Again, with that black leather jacket, man. I mean, like, ah, oh, look at the ruffles. Glitter in there. Kind of give it some sparkle pop and more feminine flair because he's got on a, a black leather jacket. It was, the pairing was off, but separate, hey, separate, good to go. Absolutely stellar. And again, it's a lot of fabric here. It's a, it's a loose fit. It's again, it's kind of got that robe gi esque top, but it, it's, it's still got a slim silhouette and I love it, man. Again, straight out of the fall, winter men's, but killer. Very cute, very cute. Just really is. And I don't know if it's because of the model that was wearing it, but it doesn't look as masculine as the other ones. You know, like, it, this one just doesn't look as masculine as the other ones. Or as androgynous. It looks a little bit... That, one, that suit looks more feminine. And again, I love the blonde and black here. White. The white cuffs. 
over the jacket, man. Man, that's a Bond girl look. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Is this Bella? Is this Bella? It looks like Bella, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but hey, looks great in the black suit. Okay, another badass FBI look. <laughs> Man, bro. I mean, these ladies are going on the cover. Where you have, again, I love the top. Love the skirt. I love this whole look. Love this entire ensemble. That old school, rough turtle collar. That's just regal, man. Satin fabric with the patterns, with the color, the golds. It's regal. It's cool, man. It works. I like the funky jacket. That's a nice piece. You know, and again, I love the top. These, there was tops they have underneath those roughed lace looks. I, I can't, I can't get enough of them. The turquoise teal one with again the South Beach hot pink play, and she's got even darker teal underneath. Macarillo, man, I gotta salute him. I really love the work here. With the gold earrings and the gold shoes. Absolutely. Absolutely. The gold bangles on the wrists. This one was also impressive and worked. The brown, the bronze copper shoes that she has to match the top and, and kind of like the earrings and just kind of like the foliage that you get on the gold of the jacket. This one with the burnt orange. The roses on that one with the navy. Didn't really like the, the royal blue with it. I thought some of the color schemes were a little, it's like, all right, we're getting a little crazy. But like, hey, I really like these as separates. Love this look. I'll take it as is. Somehow, some way it works. The royal purple, the teal, the turquoise, ruffled, tiered skirt. I mean, and this is again a phenomenal sleeveless top. Look at those shoes, man. Man, bro. Oh, yeah. I, I, this is one of my favorite shows that we've seen this season. Absolutely. One of my favorite shows. Yep. Yep. Look at the crystal buttons here. Absolutely. You don't see crystals on too many Yves Saint Laurent. Garments, yeah. Again, this suit right here is enough to sell me on the whole thing, but you know, the whole collection really has consistent greatness, consistent intrigue, um, and just really is right up my alley for some of my taste. What say you though? Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this show. You know, I'm a big fan of houses like Saint Laurent, like Hermes, like Ralph Lauren, um, Valentino, historically. I need to check out the, the modern day Valentino, but the real Valentino, oh, for sure. Like, that's, that's my type of fashion. So, you know, everyone's got their taste. Of course, Tom Ford. Um, so, I, I really like pantsuits. I really like traditional fashion i guess but you know stuff that's well done stuff that matches stuff that's well tailored uh and just well made so yeah again look at the ambiance look at the low lighting look at that come on what else could you ask for so i guess the question is will anthony vaccarello and saint laurent would they ever steer away from the kind of prototypical Laurent-isms. Would they ever really step out of their comfort zone and really just try something new? Or will they just kind of rinse, wash, repeat, kind of rehash, in my opinion, the great style and the great brand of, of clothing that they've always put out. But I don't know. You know, I think that you know, when it comes to sticking to house codes and maintaining the norms of a brand i think that can be rewarded or it can be looked down upon i guess it all depends on the long-term vision and goals of the brand i think with saint laurent in particular 
I think they're one of those brands where they're not really trying to convince people. They're not really trying to crowdfund a whole new crop of the general public come to really buy into their brand. Yves Saint Laurent is one of those brands where you see it, you either love it and respect it, or you don't. It's either you are a Saint Laurent customer or you aren't. You know, it, it really is that simple to me. You either are a Saint Laurent customer or you're not. And I think they know that. Because you either are going to like this type of stuff. You either, if you're a woman, you're either going to want to wear pantsuits, sleek, these really sharp, sleek stilettos, you know, that can really only be matched in terms of sleekness by probably Louboutin. Like, but it, or you're not, right? You know, you're either down with the androgynous kind of wear or you're not. As a guy, again, you either like boxy, old school, slim cut Saint Laurent suits and, you know, pretty high heel Chelsea boots that are very European cut. You know, you either like that or you don't. You either like it or you don't. You know, that's not something that the average person really is going to buy into, you know, you're not gonna sit on the fence. It's either for you or it's not. So, we'll see. Thank you very much for watching. Your viewership is much appreciated. I know this was long-winded. I know this is a long video. If you're somehow you're still here, again, I really appreciate you. Um, please, if you would, hit the like button. Um, I hope to see you next time. But until next time, have a great day.